So now we're doing examples for alkynes, for which the general formula is Cn H2n minus 2. So our first example, we have 1, 2, 3 carbons, so we know that will give us the prefix prop. And our triple bond here for alkynes goes from the first carbon to the second carbon. So that means our bond is on 1, to represent the carbon it's on, prop for 3 carbons, and then ein for the triple bond there. Our second example would be, if we count from the left hand side, it's on the 1, 2, second carbon to the third, or if we count from the right, it's on the 1, 2, second carbon to the third. So it doesn't matter what side we go from. So in total, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 carbons, and our triple bond is on the second carbon. So it would be 2 for the bond being on the second carbon, but for 4 carbons, and in for the triple bond. So now we're going to draw one pentene, which would look like this. So we've got one pentene, so our red goes here to represent that the bond is, goes from the first carbon to the second carbon. The triple bond also gives us our en ending. And then we have one, two, three, four, five carbons for pent. Now you may be wondering why there's no H on this carbon. Because we have one, two, three bonds on this side and one bond on this side, this carbon is saturated, meaning it has the maximum number of bonds that it can have, so it doesn't need a hydrogen. Our next example, 2-heptene. Um, the 2 tells us that our triple bond is going to be going from the second carbon to the third carbon, and the hept tells us that we have 7 carbons. We know that we have a triple bond because it ends in Y, N, E, or ene. So we would have... So we have our green here for our ene because of a triple bond. Our bond is on the second carbon to the third, the red for the number. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons for hept. This, these two carbons are the same case as the one above. We have one, two, three, four bonds, so it needs no hydrogen, and we have one, two, three, four bonds. So this one and this one are saturated, meaning they don't need a hydrogen. So for this example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carbons, and our bond always starts on the first carbon. So if we count this way, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have a methyl group on 5 and 6, so we would go 5, 6, because we have methyl groups on both of those carbons, dimethyl to represent having two methyl groups and then we know that our bond is always on the first carbon and we have octene because we have eight carbons with the ene ending because of the triple bond. So we have that there because of that. And then we have one and five six. Di to represent the two methyl groups and methyl because they are single carbon groups. Our last example we have to draw. So we know we have pentene, so we know that there's five carbons, and we know that the double bond goes from the second carbon to the third carbon, and we know that we have a bromo group on the fourth carbon, which is a single bromo because it has no prefix. So it could look something like this.
and then our bromo is on the fourth. Our triple bond goes from the second carbon to the third carbon. The triple bond gives us the ene ending, and we have one bromo to give us that, and we have one, two, three, four, five carbons for the pent, and the triple bond for ene, and that's alkenes.